population is growing globally, and so therefore demand for food is growing globally. What we're seeing in Asia broadly and specific in China is a growing middle class. Middle class generally is going to have a higher demand for animal protein and poultry in particular. We see the natural resources that go into the production of the food as a, as a strain on the environment potentially. And that's in the form of feed, it's in the form of energy and water. So all of that becomes a global challenge to make sure we meet the needs of those growing populations. Because of the good image of poultry, because of the good value for money, and because of the convenience, the world poultry consumption is planned to grow by 60% in the 15 coming years. The most important part of this growth will come from Asia and China will be a key contributor. As a farmer, we also focus on the food waste. WIF, the WIF and the Chinese Foreign Service Association have done a survey in China. We are very happy to use the WIF 大家共同合作的方式，与零售商、与加工商来合作，去探索更好的包装方式和生产过程，来满足消费者对食品安全和我们环保主义者对食品浪费问题的更好的解决方案。The food security project that we're working on with the World Wildlife Fund is focused on poultry in China. We chose that project. Because the importance that poultry is going to have as a protein source in the future, as well as the opportunity to reduce the environmental impact, improve the quality, and prevent food waste across the system. If you look specifically at Asia, 20% of the meat production is going to waste. So that means we need to produce 20% more food just to meet the needs. Now, if we could address that problem of waste, food that is lost or wasted throughout the value chain, then we've already gotten ahead of the curve on, on some of the problems. When we look at food waste, we really need to look at the entire supply chain. Everything from the production, to the processing, to the distribution, retail, and even to the consumer. Because it's all along that supply chain that we add resources that might have an environmental impact if that food is wasted. Typically, depending on the breed and the type of chicken, a chicken needs about 45 to 60 days to grow from a day-old hatchling all the way till it is ready to be sold for human consumption. The weight of a chicken that is sold in a supermarket weighs around 1.5 to 1.8 kilogram. If this piece of chicken is spoiled and needs to be discarded, one would think that it is merely 1.5 kilogram of protein that is wasted. However, it's not really true because during that 45 to 60 days of growth, the chicken needs close to 6 to 8 litres of water and it also needs about 4 to 5 kilograms of feed. Sealed Air is uniquely qualified to bring packaging solutions to the supply chain from the point of processing all the way through to the retail and ultimately into the consumer. Extends shelf life, improves the quality and improves the food safety of that product. The 卫生控制要很很严格，这样呢，在包装产品之前，呃，整个的工厂的卫生环境、温度控制都要达到一定的要求，这样呢，才能达到一定的保质期。I think that we can have two sets of action. The first one will be on the industry side. Industry side that's to implement more efficient hygiene and packaging technology, which will secure the shelf life, extend the shelf life. Second set of action, I would say that on the consumer side. And here, specifically in Asia, we have to spend some time to educate the consumer, to explain them the feature of the packaging. This education aspect, that's certainly one of the most important points that we want to work. Shenhua very much respects and increases the quality of the supply chain. We are confident that by improving the quality of the supply chain, we will improve the quality of the supply chain and extend the supply chain. 有 WWF 和西越领导的中国禽肉食品安全项目，将有助于推动家禽业达到一个新的水平。Feed production is one of the largest impacts or contributors to the environmental footprint of chicken. In fact, it takes about eight square meters to grow feed for one chicken that's sold at retail. Farmers in China typically use feed consisting of many things, but including corn and soybeans. 
and the soybeans are grown in Brazil and South America and imported into China, and the corn comes from northeastern China. Both of those places are home to critical habitat for species like the Siberian crane, in the case of northeastern China, and the jaguar, for instance, in the case of the Amazon in Brazil. At the end of all of this, we hope that the environmental impact will be much lower and that the consumers will receive a better quality product. It's a win-win for everybody.